This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Monday morning. Hope you had a wonderful weekend as well. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Yeah, the weekend's still going for many of you, <laughs> not us. It's July 3rd. I'm Ray Collins, and John Scalzi is in place. Good morning, John. Good morning to you. Yes, indeed. A long weekend for a lot of folks, and of course, a lot of people going to be out at the beaches tomorrow to watch the uh, lightning and the uh, thunder with the fireworks as well. Yeah, there'll be a few lightning pops, I think, as well, as we'll have a kind of typical summertime pattern with showers building inland in the afternoon and then gradually drifting toward the coastline. But I've got good news in terms of the timing of these storms, and we'll talk about that coming up in a few. As far as today goes, quiet conditions out there. If you do have to commute this morning, there are no rain showers in progress that uh, will impede your morning commute. A little mix of sun and clouds carries us quickly into the 90s this afternoon. We'll have a daytime high that tops out again, kind of warm coming in around 90, 91 or so, even warmer in inland areas, and about a 30% chance of showers near the coast, much better chance in inland areas. Complete forecast coming up in a few. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. A build up right now on 301 northbound as you uh, leave from State Road 70 heading toward downtown Bradenton. Farther south now on the map into Sarasota County. A couple of issues there. First off, you see at uh, Fruitville around uh, Cattlemen at the Target Plaza there, a slowdown there. Also, B Ridge, eastbound, two lanes blocked at I-75 this morning. So if you're heading uh, toward the Laurel Oak in that direction, problem there on B Ridge already this morning. And South County all clear at 6.02 on your Monday. Topping our news this half hour, there were a lot of political fireworks over the holiday weekend ahead of Independence Day. It's going to be a busy week for President Trump. He will celebrate the 4th at the White House and then head overseas for the G20 summit. Also, the president sent out another controversial tweet that even some Republicans argue could incite violence. ABC's Emily Raw has the latest. A CNN Smackdown. President Trump tweeting this video Sunday morning showing him punching and tackling a man with the CNN logo covering his face. Some Republicans even speaking out against it. The president of the United States is inciting violence against the free press. It's unfortunate and uh, people are now begging the president not to do this. Trump's Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert defending the president. You're in charge of Homeland Security there. Yep. That seems like a threat. Yeah, certainly not though. I think that no one would perceive that as a threat. I hope they don't. CNN issued a statement saying it is a sad day when the president of the United States encourages violence against reporters. Clearly, Sarah Huckabee Sanders lied when she said the president had never done so. Sanders, the White House deputy press secretary, spoke Thursday. The president in no way, uh, form or fashion has ever uh, promoted or encouraged violence, if anything, quite the contrary. The president's hometown tabloids having a field day this morning. The fake media tried to stop us from going to the White House, but I'm president and they're not. We won and they lost. And Team Trump deploying another tactic over the weekend, launching a weekly email newsletter called The Real News Report, highlighting items they feel did not get proper coverage. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. Developing overnight, President Donald Trump had back-to-back -back phone calls with the leaders of China and Japan on Sunday to discuss the North Korea nuclear threat. Japan says Mr. Trump and the Prime Minister agreed to work with South Korea to increase pressure on North Korea to end its nuclear program. The White House says Mr. Trump also brought this up with the Chinese president. The two leaders reaffirming their commitment to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. Perhaps a victory overseas in the battle against ISIS. Iraqi and U.S. forces on the verge of a major success, taking back Mosul, a militant stronghold. Three years ago, ISIS swept through the ancient city and now it has become a war zone with thousands of civilians trapped by the fighting. But Iraq and U.S. forces have taken control of what's left of the city's most important mosque, and both countries are confident ISIS will be defeated in, de in days. But they don't expect peace in Iraq anytime soon. That's because there are still significant pockets of ISIS nearby. Other cities liberated have since been retaken, and the battle for the capital of Caliphate has only just begun. A Pennsylvania neighborhood is recovering after a deadly explosion left a house in shambles. Workers were responding to the home to plug up a gas leak when a sudden blast went through the structure, killing one of the workers and injuring three others. The explosion also damaging nearby homes. 
It felt like a massive earthquake. Like everything was shaking, glass was going everywhere, wood was going everywhere. The house felt like it was just falling apart. A neighbor was the one who smelled that gas and called the utility company. Workers then warned the woman inside the house who was able to get out before it exploded. Passengers on a flight from Aspen to Denver had a trip they won't soon forget. An engine on their plane caught fire as it was landing. It was a United Express plane operated by SkyWest. Emergency crews rushed to the scene as the 59 passengers came onto the runway. Luckily, no injuries. Now it's up to investigators to sort out how that fire began in the first place. In Washington State, at least five people recovering this morning after an Amtrak train derailed 50 miles south of Seattle. There were 267 passengers on board who were later taken to buses. Four of the train's 15 cars wound up off the tracks. Firefighters say they were prepared for a fuel spill, but there have been no spills or leaks so far. A new identity scam is affecting people across the country. All the thief has to do is fill out a change of address form at the post office and then drop it in the mail. A process that, unlike the web, requires no ID ver verification. Scammers then wait for a crucial piece of mail to end up in the wrong place, but the U.S. Postal Service says they are working to enhance the security of the change of address process. However, customers should watch for suspicious signs, like if you get no mail or only junk mail, if bills are missing, or if you get a forwarding notification. If you think you've been scammed, call police and contact the post office, who has an inspection service. It's a disturbing situation. It definitely is. I can even imagine. I mean, identity crisis right there. A lot of change of address forms are taken down here with all the snowbirds going back and forth, so Very good be point. alert of that. Definitely. 6.07 on your Monday morning, and the start of the holiday weekend turned tragic in Little Rock, Arkansas, after more than two dozen people were shot inside a nightclub. No arrests have been made, although police have arrested the rapper who was on stage in an unrelated charge. Reporter Ashley Corum has details. On a, a 4th of July weekend where we wish to anticipate having fun with our friends and family, this is certainly, certainly a terrible, terrible tragedy. A much quieter scene as day broke Saturday in downtown Little Rock, Arkansas. According to police, around 2.30 in the morning, shots rang out inside the Power Ultra Lounge nightclub as a band performed on stage. This is cell phone video taken inside the two-story establishment just moments before the shooting began. Some sort of dispute uh, ensued in the audience uh, during the event, and there were shots, multiple shots fired. We believe multi indivi multiple individuals responsible for those shots fired. A friend of one of the victims describes what happened next. Everybody took off running, and he got shot in the back running. Authorities say more than two dozen people were shot. They were all transferred to different area hospitals. The youngest victim is believed to be 16 years old. Police say all are expected to survive. Other individuals were injured, uh, either being trampled or trying to exit the location. So far, police have no motive for the shooting, and no arrests have been made. The attorney general released a statement offering condolences to the victims' families. I'm Ashley Corum reporting. Nine right now. For most of us, Fourth of July means our nation's independence. But Amazon wants you to also think about shopping. The biggest discounts are on shoes, swimwear, and outdoor items this week. The real shopping holiday is still a week away with Amazon promising a prime day that will be bigger than Black Friday itself later this year. At 9 o'clock p.m. July 10th, a week from tonight, and for 36 hours after that, or 30 hours rather, the online retail giant will offer huge discounts on, on hundreds of thousands of items. And with that, competition experts say do your homework and make sure that discount you're getting is really a sale. We are in the middle of the 4th of July holiday weekend, one of the busiest travel times of the year, and that includes at the airport. In fact, officials at the Orlando International Airport are expecting the number of travelers to be 6% up from last year. That's as many as 148,000 passengers per day passing through for this holiday weekend. That continues, by the way, until this Saturday. The ride-sharing apps Uber and Lyft are now available for passengers in Venice. The car services have been allowed in the city for some time, but the process of being approved by the city was so complicated that not many people wanted to operate as an Uber or Lyft driver. Now, thanks to a new state law, ride-sharing companies only have to follow state regulations. 
And over the holiday weekend, the Manatee County Sheriff's Office increased patrols in an effort to combat accidents due to driving under the influence. During an overnight operation, two people were arrested for DUI. One summons was also issued for driving on a suspended license. 95 people were ticketed for various traffic violations and five people got off with just a warning. Be advised that these increased patrols will continue throughout the week. And if you're heading out on the water, Florida Fish and Wildlife will also have extra officers patrolling to keep boaters safe. Also be on the lookout for anyone boating under the influence of drugs or alcohol. From the beaches of St. Croix to the Miami International Airport Terminal, a sea turtle named Sherrod has arrived in this country in a desperate attempt to stay alive. Found in the Virgin Islands, the 28-pound sea turtle is covered in tumors due to polluted water in St. Croix. Hmm. Now, with the help of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, Sherrod is on his way to the Florida Keys Turtle Hospital for treatment. Um, it has a fibropapilloma virus. Um, it's a virus that affects over 50% of the green sea turtle population in and around developed islands. And unfortunately on St. Croix, they don't have the means or equipment to treat this turtle. At the Turtle Hospital, we've been treating fibropapilloma virus for over 30 years. Scientists will have to make sure that the tumors have not internalized and then they'll be off to surgery. And should that be successful, experts say the turtle will be kept at the hospital for two years before going back to the wild. And there it goes. And scientists may soon know more about manatees' behavior thanks to the help of satellites. Workers from wildlife agencies and organizations in Georgia and Florida netted eight manatees. And now so far the GPS data shows that the manatees regularly venture into areas where they're able to find artificial freshwater sources to drink from. And a few have traveled to the open Atlantic Ocean, venturing as far as five miles offshore. GPS tracking. On to manatees now. Wow. <laughs> Satellites. Wow. Pretty soon they'll be making cell phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's next. That's true. That's next. Showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Talk about that in a sec. Also still ahead, police looking for answers after an Orlando entrepreneur is killed. We'll tell you why authorities believe a Facebook post may have led to her death after this. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. You can have uh, a CD. You can have... A vinyl, but feel it. Feel it when it's being played is, is the best you can ever be. One last blues jam at the hub of Sarasota's live music scene. The 5 o'clock club is changing hands, but will it have an encore? I'm Alan Cohn. We'll hear from the musicians at the heart of the 5-0. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Thanks to all of you who participated in ABC 7's contest with a chance to win four Florida resident Disney Platinum Passes plus a four-night stay at a Walt Disney World Resort Hotel. So now it is time for our grand prize winner announcement. Congratulations, Larry Phillips of Sarasota. Larry, his wife Carol, and their kids Bradley and Anna won a year of magic at Walt Disney World, where dreams come true. Congratulations from ABC7. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by.
ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. 77 degrees, the air temperature dew point coming in at 73. A warm, sticky, muggy start to the day, and it'll end up being a very humid afternoon. Summer. Summer in Florida, right? Showers and thunderstorms will ensue later on today, and that'll really help cut the heat. Boy, I tell you, they were nice over the weekend, those afternoon showers to kind of get rid of some of those daytime high temperatures that were in the 90s. 77 in Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaca, Parrish, Bradenton, Lakewood, Ranch, Sarasota, and in Punta Gorda. Pretty uniform temperatures across the region. South wind, southeast wind helping to make that happen. 80 degrees in Venice, Inglewood, and 81 degrees out at Longboat Key. You don't have much in the way of any kind of showery activity this morning for your morning commute. For those of you who are on the roads this morning, everything looks pretty quiet weather-wise. Do have some showers out in Gulf waters, but those continue to press away from us, kind of the last gasp of the showers that we had around yesterday. We do have some rain dip back to the west, though, and that could be a bullseye for some heavier weather if you're traveling to, say, Kansas City or to Oklahoma City. Why, you'll see a bullseye there for heavy shower and thunderstorms later on today and the potential for some severe weather as well. But for the state of Florida, I think we're just looking at your standard, typical afternoon shower and thunderstorm kind of scenario. No severe weather forecast for today, for tomorrow. Really in the foreseeable future, you even look five days down the road, and I don't see anything that uh, shows anything like a severe weather outbreak. Of course, it's summertime in Florida, and at any point, some of these thunderstorms could produce a severe thunderstorm, an isolated possibility of that. But there's really nothing in the atmosphere that, that points in that direction currently. High pressure out in the Atlantic brings us that southeasterly wind flow. The frontal boundary back to the west the focal point for those heavier showers and thunderstorms in Kansas and Oklahoma. Our area gets the showers and thunderstorms that build inland along the sea breeze front, and then that southeast wind pushes them right back out into Gulf waters. Typical stuff for this time of year, and nothing really changes over the course of the next several days. So if you are planning on going out and checking out the fireworks tomorrow, I'm thinking that most of the activity will have died down by around 9 o'clock in the evening. There may be an isolated shower near the coast, but hopefully it won't be a big deal. Typical summertime pattern, southeast wind, good rain chances. And with the rain chances this high, it's a great time to download our new weather app at, uh, at your local app store, whether you're Android or, or Apple. You know, the, uh, the app works just the same, just as well. And it gives you latest up-to-the-minute information and beautiful radar as well. We're looking at a 40 to 50% chance of showers over the next several days with daytime highs in the 90s. Back to you. Thank you so much, John. Taking a look at traffic, looks like it's pretty quiet throughout Manatee County. Not a whole lot going on throughout that area. As we head into Sarasota County, there are some slowdowns in the normal spots picking up, and there is uh, some lane blockage on Bee Bridge heading eastbound towards I-75, so keep an eye out for that if you head throughout that area. South County looking pretty quiet, a little slowdown on 40, Business 41 as you head into Nokomis. It's 619 this morning and the investigation continues after a Florida mother is murdered shortly after making a Facebook post. Police are trying to figure out if that posting and the violence are indeed connected. Reporter Terry Parker has the story. Family and friends gathered in front of the house where 33-year-old Makiva Jenkins lived until a masked man knocked on the door at 2 a.m. shooting and killing Jenkins. A bubbly entrepreneur upbeat about her newfound business success. I'm Makiva Jenkins, Prime Enterprise Group, business coach, business strategist. If you're looking to start or build a successful business, I'm the plug. I'm your go to girl. Jenkins kept up a steady stream of motivational social media posts and was unflinchingly honest, perhaps revealing too much in her last post, writing late Wednesday night. 
I'm in awe of how far I've come. We overcame being homeless in 2013-14 to reaching my six-figure mark in 2015 to now making multi-six figures. Detectives have not said whether there is any link between the post and her being killed just hours later. I just sound so boring and I know the information is good, but I just want to get on a video like... Hey, I'm Makiva with the Prime Enterprise Group. Welcome. I'm here to talk about business. I wish I had that kind of personality. Jenkins has been married to Yuri Jenkins since 2011, according to court documents. They have three young children, including a year old baby. Jenkins and others began pulling mattresses and other items out of the house around noon and declined to comment. Neighbors were horrified to watch this all unfold. Well, I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm glad I'm moving out of the neighborhood, but um, I'm worried. The sheriff's office says the masked intruder shot Jenkins, then fled in her family car, which was later recovered. They haven't said whether Jenkins' husband was home at the time and where the children were during the fatal altercation. So, I'm working on it, darling. All right, I got to go pick these kids up from school. Mommy duties are calling. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, that's a mystery because it wasn't like uh, robbery was the motive. Just shot her and didn't yeah. steal anything. That's, Tragic situation. That certainly is. Another one as well coming up here next. The latest on a kidnapping of a Chinese scholar at the University of Illinois. We'll tell you what theories her family is sharing on her disappearance after this. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high performance parts and advice. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422, 800-685-6422. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-747-0618. 800-747-0618. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. Just search ABC7 on your streaming device to keep up with the Sun Coast from the comfort of your couch. Download ABC7 now to watch us on TV anytime you want. ABC7, we're here for you wherever you are. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50 plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Oh, look at that little sunrise wow, in progress. beautiful, Very beautiful nice. shot out there on yeah. July 3rd, almost 4th of July. Yeah. We were at the beach watching the races yesterday around 3 o'clock, and it began to thunder, and the clouds looked ominous, so we got yep. back on our bikes and hustled across the bridge, and then it never rained.
I know, I know. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, yeah. I was I was out there as well, and I was about to head home because I thought it was going to rain, and stuck around just a little bit longer, and nothing came. No, nothing rained there either. No. Nope. Wow. Mm -hmm. There you go. Welcome back at 6:25 this morning. A man is in custody, charging charged with the kidnapping of a Chinese scholar at the University of Illinois. He is due in court today. ABC's Alex Perez has the story. In this morning's GMA First Look, 28-year-old Brent Christensen is set to appear in federal court, charged with kidnapping University of Illinois college student Ying Yang Zhang, who had recently moved to the United States, was last seen three weeks ago in the surveillance video from June 9th, getting into Christensen, a stranger's car. Investigators believe she accepted the ride because she was running late for an appointment to sign a lease, but never showed up. According to a criminal complaint, after first saying he did not recall his whereabouts on the day Zhang disappeared, the FBI says Christensen later told them he offered her a ride but let her out after she became panicked when he said he made a wrong turn. Investigators have not yet found the graduate student's body. And coming up at 7 a.m., former FBI Special Agent Brad Garrett weighs in live. With your GMA First Look, I'm Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago. I'm Phil Mickelson, pro golfer. I'm Karen. I'm a teacher. My psoriatic arthritis caused joint pain. Just like my moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. And I was worried about joint damage. My doctor said joint pain from RA can be a sign of existing joint damage that can only get worse. He prescribed Embril to help relieve pain and help stop further damage. Embril may lower your ability to fight infections, serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, nervous system and blood disorders, and allergic reactions have occurred. Tell your doctor if you've been someplace where fungal infections are common, or if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if you have persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Don't start Embril if you have an infection like the flu. Joint pain and damage can go side by side. Ask how Embril can help relieve joint pain and help stop joint damage. Embril, FDA approved for 18 years. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. Services.com. Services.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed, Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Roser from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. 
And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, the races may be over, but there's still work to be done. We'll take a look at the cleanup underway following the Sarasota Grand Prix. Plus, two separate accidents over the weekend in Englewood and Northport. It ends in the death of death or injury of 16 people. On details of both crashes. And two youth sailors being honored will tell you about their accomplishments at the World Championships in Bermuda. Your Suncoast News starts right now. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. One of those transitional days. It's July the 3rd, a Monday, a holiday for some, but not for others. One of those kind of weird days. Exactly. Yeah, look at that nice sunrise, though. Good morning, 631. I'm Ray Collins. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Let's check in with meteorologist John Scalzi because a lot of people are waiting to hear what you have to say, John, because they want to know about the weather for those fireworks. Absolutely. And you know what? We've had some fireworks days that have been delayed, mm -hmm. postponed because of uh, some heavy thunderstorm activity occurring right at the time when the fireworks are supposed to go off. I think I've got some good news for you in that regard. Certainly this morning, everything is very quiet. The radar not showing much in the way of any kind of rainfall around our area. We do have a little bit of Fair weather cloudiness, though, as you just saw on our tower cam, that will give way to sunshine and will boost our temperatures pretty rapidly into the upper 80s to near the 90 mark as we head into the afternoon. That'll bring us about a 30% chance of rainfall. We'll have the complete forecast for you coming up in a few. Thank you, John. We expect a light commute, but some problems already. First off in Manatee County on 301 northbound, we see a bit of an uh, icon there that suggests an accident at 30th Avenue East at 301, so be aware of that. That could be a trouble spot. Avoid that. You can take uh, 14th Street West or I-75 if possible. Also, an ongoing issue on B Ridge Road in the eastbound lanes. In fact, two lanes are blocked at I-75 as you head out toward, uh, said, the Laurel Oak area and the B Ridge extension, so be aware of that. In South County, one slowdown in the uh, northbound lane where it actually heads due west uh, down by South Venice. 633 on your Monday morning. Topping our news this morning, the Sarasota Power Grand Prix races may be done, but it's nowhere near over for event organizers. As our Jess Dowdrick tells us, now the cleanup begins. And just like that, the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix comes to an end. The crowds for day two of racing were unbelievable. Some people were out on Lido Beach as early as sunrise, hoping to get the best seat in the house. Anita DiGiulio and her family got to Lido Beach around 5.30 Sunday morning. And even then, the crowds were pouring in. We didn't really have to wait. By the time we got here, they were letting everyone on the beach. The family set up camp to watch DiGiulio's nephew race. But for the family, the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix is about much more. My Ann is actually in the program for Community Haven. Last year, we raised over $100,000. So, I mean, it helps the kids, and it's, it's for a really good cause. The family was among thousands filling Lido Beach this racing weekend. Tents and chairs stretched up to the water's edge, and two out of three of Lido's main parking lots were full before 9 a.m. The dunes are very well protected. The county came out and just literally wrapped them in fencing, so it's almost impossible to get on them. Camille Schwabe was worried that the large crowds would trample all over the dunes, but fortunately, thanks to the county, that wasn't the case. Before they would just put like a little ribbon with a stake to keep them off and obviously that didn't work. Sarasota County also worked hard to keep trash off of the beaches this holiday weekend. We were able to hand out already 250 yellow trash bags to uh, visitors. Uh, we handed out about 100 yesterday and 150 today. Of the 100 bags handed out on Saturday, 85 were returned, full of trash in the dumpsters provided. So when Ryan Murphy and his staff walked the beaches after the day's events. We only ended up with about four buckets loads of, of 
trash. That's uh, inevitable to have that sort of thing happen. The county plans to continue the strategy for other holiday weekends, but Murphy says they can't take all of the credit. You know, the public's really doing their part. You know, we're handing out the bags, but they're also making good use of them. Now that the races have wrapped up, July 4th is on everybody's mind. It's just two days away, and the county says they will be out on the beaches again, handing out those trash bags. In Sarasota, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Well, it wasn't all smooth sailing for racers on the water this weekend. The Sarasota Police Department responded to an overturned boat at turn five during the Sarasota Grand Prix Invitational. The boat no vacancy rolled during a turn on one of the races. Luckily, no one was hurt. Our other big story now, four people are dead, five injured after a crash in Englewood early on Sunday morning. It happened at the intersection of Rosemont Drive and Sunnybrook Boulevard. The driver of an Audi ran a stop sign before crashing into a car driven by a Kentucky man. That first car burst into flames, killing the driver and three passengers. The Kentucky driver, along with his four passengers, including three children, sustained just minor injuries. An investigation is still ongoing. In Northport, seven injured after an SUV flipped twice after a tire blowout on I-75. The driver was near mile marker 188 when it happened. It caused his SUV to lose control and flip twice. The driver was flown to Sarasota Memorial Hospital with serious injuries, and one child in the car flown to all children's with serious injuries. Three adults and two minors also in the car had minor injuries. Also two were, only two rather, were wearing seatbelts. Dog owners wishing that their pets behaved better came out for some expert tips at the Humane Society of Manatee County this weekend. A professional dog trainer with the group Canines in Action and the author of several training books hosted a seminar with tricks and tips on how to help with manners and basic obedience ranging from house training all the way to aggression. So many of us, we, we get a dog, we get a pet, um, and then there's problems. It's not, it's not Lassie, it's not perfect, it's not Disney, and uh, it, it's easy to, to feel like, oh, well, I just, I got a bad dog, or, or, or I'm not a great trainer, or, you know, whatever, but then you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, here's a dog that this trainer had never met, and we were able to get this far in this amount of time. I can certainly do that with my dog at home. Now, here's a tip from the event. Don't spend a lot of time trying to teach your dog not to do something. Instead, replace it by teaching them to do something else. For example, instead of punishing dogs who jump when they greet visitors, teach your dog to sit when someone arrives. Definitely a tip there. We'll have to keep that one in mind. And good news out of Manatee County, 10 dogs and 9 cats found forever homes at an adoption event this weekend. The Manatee County Animal Shelter hosted the event at its two shelters. All the animals that went home were spayed and neutered, chipped and made up to date on their shots, all for just $10. The event is designed to place adoptable animals in good homes and relieve the overcrowded kennels at the shelter. Now, if you miss the adoption event, stop by one of the two shelters. Still plenty of animals waiting to find their forever homes, just like the ones on your screen. So what to do today? Well, you can rent kayaks or paddle boards at a new location in Sarasota County. The county is now allowing companies to rent to customers at Turtle Beach at the southern end of Siesta Key. The new program began July 1st, Saturday. Two years ago, the county launched an identical program in Ted Sperling Park on the southern tip of Lido Key, and that brought in about $77,000 in new revenue to Sarasota County. And the Sarasota Youth Sailing Group honoring two of its young sailors for a special accomplishment. They returned to the country last week after competing in the World Championship races in Bermuda. That took place in Bermuda and racers from around the world. They didn't win the competition, but they certainly showed well for Sarasota and showed their strong sailing skills. Way to go, kids. And if you take any good pictures of any sunrises or sunsets, send them our way. There's our contact information. We'll also be breaking down our individual Facebook pages in the coming days or weeks, so you can write to us individually and share your pictures there as well. Definitely. Even now, you can go ahead and check out Jacqueline Matter, ABC7, Ray Collins, ABC7, John Scalzi, ABC7. Just type it in at the top of the search bar on right. Facebook, on Twitter. You can find it super easy. Yeah.
I'm gonna try that paddle boarding thing. I've never done that. <laughs> that takes work. I yeah, know. Abdomen, that's yeah. good for yeah. the abs, abs right? Yeah, yeah. I don't have any. Yeah. My six pack is more like a keg. Yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly. More yeah. reason to try oh, that out, I guess. Man. I heard it can be tough, though. Like, your arms hurt after you do some of those paddle boarding. It's like a full on body workout. Sure is. All right, you talked me out of it. Uh, we have <laughs> nice going. Well, sorry about that one. <laughs> have some nice weather coming up for you in the next couple of days. We'll talk about that in a sec. Also, still ahead after three days, we have a new Miss Florida. We'll tell you who was crowned and what they'll get for winning the new title after this. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at CaliforniaClosets.com. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. When you are home alone, an emergency can become a tragedy. However, with any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately, whether in the bathroom. I've fallen in the shower. At home. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. And on the go. Help, I've fallen in the park and I can't get up. Don't worry, help is on the way. Life Alert saves a life every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-518-0221. That's 1-800-518-0221. Call now, 1-800-518-0221. For a free brochure, call 1-800-518-0221. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate... Or shop at Goodwill... I'm creating a job. I am goodwill, yeah. Because my parents told me I have to be responsible. Because my first coach told me you can do this. Because my boss showed me how to do a good job. Because my teacher helped me see the choices. I'm swimming faster than I ever dreamed. I am a valuable employee. I discovered that I could work as an artist. I will be whatever. I want to be. Youth with disabilities should grow up expecting to work and succeed. For more information, visit whatcanyoudocampaign.org. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Nice shot sent in by Matt Smith from Boca Grande. You can see the kind of iridescence on the edges of the clouds where the ice crystals in the clouds kind of set off that rainbow effect. Plus, a lightning strike at the same time. Looks like it's emanating from the rainbow. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Matt frequently sends in nice photos. Matt, you may recognize that name, Matt Smith. He's actually the director of Mosquito Control, but uh, a photographer as well and sends in some lovely stuff here. That shot, by the way, available on my Facebook page. I just posted that if you'd like to see it again at uh, John Scalzi, ABC7. Current conditions out there, we're looking at, uh, well, not too bad, 77 degrees with an air temperature of 73. It is a little on the humid side, and we do have some sunshine peeking through the clouds that are out there. Southeast wind comes in at about 3. We'll continue throughout the day today, that southeast wind, except when we build our sea breeze a little bit later in the afternoon. 76 degrees, Machula, 77, Arcadia, Mayaca, Ponta Gorda, Lakewood Ranch, 76 in Bradenton, Parish. 79 degrees in Venice, 80 in Inglewood, and the hot spot, Longbow Key, comes in at 81 degrees. Not much in the way of any kind of rain showers across the region. It's a nice, quiet weather start to the day. But like the last several days, I think that'll probably change as we head into the afternoon. We're already starting to see some showery activity over on the other coast, an indication of that southeasterly wind flow. And some of those showers will eventually 
uh, encounter our sea breeze front over on our coastline and bigger showers, thunderstorms will start to build in inland areas. Traveling today, the center part of the country, the hot spot definitely for some heavier weather. In fact, a bullseye in parts of Oklahoma, I think, where uh, we'll probably see some rougher weather later on today. Large hail, mm, probably a isolated uh, um, tornado or two possible as well. Across our region, nothing but the standard kind of afternoon thunderstorm activity. Don't see anything in the way of severe weather today, but uh, you know we'll keep an eye to the sky a little bit later on with the high pressure ridge out in the Atlantic, winds out of the southeast, sea breeze building in the afternoon. All the ingredients are there for, again, kind of typical shower and thunderstorm activity. And that southeasterly wind flow will take those storms that build in inland areas and bring us about a 50% chance of storms there. And then as those storms drift back to the coast, they'll tend to die out. So we'll reduce the rain chance to about 30% right along the immediate coastline. Typical summertime pattern, southeast wind and good rain chances. Now we're looking in the tropics over the course of the next uh, five to seven days. The Hurricane Center gives this cluster of storms, very slow moving cluster of storms, by the way, and a long way away from the Florida Peninsula. Give it about a 70% chance for development as it gradually drifts toward the east. Now, or to the west, rather. Now, with time, there's the possibility that that storm system could lift north. But I'll tell you what, if you look at the water vapor imagery, there is a lot of dry air. Caused by Saharan dust, actually. And that drier air could definitely impinge the eventual development of that system. But it's got a long time for it to um, eventually pick up some spin and maybe develop into a depression. And so we will continue to monitor it and let you know what happens with that system down the road. 50% to 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms this week and a daytime high warm coming in near 90. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, John. Taking a look at traffic, 301 and State Road 70. Seeing a few more cars on the roadway. There is an accident at 301 and 30th Avenue. So if you're heading throughout that area, keep that in mind as we head South into Sarasota County, still that lane blockage at I-75 and B Ridge in the eastbound lanes. Other than that, a few slowdowns on 41 as you head south into South County as you pass by the Stickney Point Bridge over in that direction. But other than that, uh, South County looking pretty quiet at 647 on your Monday morning. In today's Health Smart, new research suggests that the longer a child is breastfed, the bigger the risk of developing cavities in their teeth. I've actually heard about this. Interesting connection here. The study looked at more than a thousand babies in Brazil. At age five, dentists found the kids who were breastfed two years or longer had more than twice the risk of severe cavities compared to kids who were breastfed for less than a year. Researchers suggest the uptick is due to the older kids likely being breastfed on demand. Funny phrase, making it harder to clean their teeth. Experts say it's vital that babies have their gums wiped down after breastfeeding as breast milk contains sugar. Interesting. News to me. Entertainment news now. The Top Gun sequel finally has a release date. And Marvel's chief confirms an amazing Spider-Man secret. David Daniel has more. More than three decades after Top Gun zoomed through the cinematic skies, you'll see the sequel take flight. Paramount has cleared Top Gun Maverick for takeoff on July 12, 2019, 33 years and a couple of months after the original flew into pop culture history. Star Tom Cruise is set to return, this time as a flight instructor for a new generation of hot young pilots. It's official, that kid in the Iron Man mask saved by Tony Stark in Iron Man 2 was a young Peter Parker about to start slinging webs in Spider-Man Homecoming. And we have confirmation from none other than Marvel Studios chief Kevin Feige. The Stark Expo from that film, as you may recall, takes place in Flushing Meadows, in Flushing Meadow Park in uh, Queens. John Favreau grew up in that area, which is one of the reasons why we were inspired to do that in Iron Man 2. And we always knew that the Peter Parker lived there somewhere. We always thought Peter's here in the Marvel Cinematic Universe up until Civil War. We just never, you'd never met him. Hey, could you do me a favor? Hold on to that. Talk about a tangled web. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Back here in Florida, a new Miss Florida has been crowned. Sarah Zeng of Palm Coast took home the tiara in Lakeland over the weekend after wowing the crowd with her mastery of the piano. There she is, a music education major from Florida State. She'll also receive a $20,000 scholarship 
Zeng now goes on to the 2018 Miss America pageant in Atlantic City in September. And so an uh, interesting fact about the Miss America organization is actually the largest uh, provider of scholarships for women in the country. Very nice. I have a few friends competing this year, so uh, I will certainly be watching and wishing the best of luck to Sarah as well. Yeah, extra special interest for you to watch that. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> also still ahead, we'll update the day's top news headlines and Kentucky Fried Chicken taking their food to outer space. <laughs> we'll show you the latest on the food giant, how they got their sandwiches in zero gravity after this. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now, for every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. Invest in Kids is a $7.5 million project to build a new Boys and Girls Club in South Manatee County. I'm Caleb Grimes, and I was a club kid. It's where I learned important life lessons, leadership, integrity, responsibility, and baseball. Thousands of kids attend the Boys and Girls Clubs, and after years of use, their club is slowly falling apart. Help us invest in kids. Make your donation today. For the last 18 years, Samantha's Friends has been assisting people along the Sun Coast who have been challenged by catastrophic illnesses or affected by autism obtain a service canine. We need your help. Please show your support by attending our annual celebrity gala brunch and fundraiser. Call Sammy Lee at 941-448-8558 for more information. Looking for carpet? Look no further. Manasota Flooring has smart strand carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Manasota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Manasota Flooring today. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Can't, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> 6.53 and there is the sunrise we're seeing from our tower camera here in um, Rosemary District. Sure, so many people who are here uh, visiting for the 4th of July holiday are waking up to that beautiful shot this morning. It's yes. gorgeous out there. We need windows in our studio. <laughs> you know what? I agree. We should petition for that. <laughs> yeah. I like that idea. Good luck with that. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the top stories here on the Sun Coast today. Not one, but two serious crashes on the Sun Coast. First off in Englewood, four people are dead, five others injured. After two cars collided, it happened early on Sunday morning. And a tire blowout on the interstate in Northport injured seven people in one car. The driver was flown to Sarasota Memorial. A child was flown to All Children's Hospital in St. Pete with serious injuries. And tens of thousands of people jammed Lido Key Beach for the biggest weekend event of the year on the Sun Coast. The 33rd annual Powerboat Grand Prix wrapped up last night, and now the cleanup begins this morning.
And taking a look at traffic this morning, there is an accident on 301 and 30th Avenue, so keep that in mind. I-75 looking clear as well as 41 in Manatee County as we head into Sarasota County. Some slowdowns in the normal spots on 301 and 41. Also, there is an accident, uh, two lanes blocked at I-75 and B Ridge eastbound. Other than that, in South County, pretty quiet throughout that area. John? Well, we're looking at uh, about a 40 to 50 percent chance of showers over the next several days. I think the timing of these storms will be similar to what we've seen over the last several days, which is they start inland in the afternoon and then by late in the afternoon, early in the evening, they drift toward the coastline. So hopefully for Fourth of July celebrations, it'll all be said and done by the time <laughs> they light the fuse. <laughs> OK, thank you, John. Look at this. A chicken sandwich high above Earth. Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> sent its spicy zinger sandwich to the edge of the atmosphere. The fast food chain partnered successfully with an Arizona ad agency. The sandwich is sitting on a high altitude balloon and will stay <laughs> up there for four days at 80,000 feet. How will what, that taste afterwards? This is what people come up with apparently in their free time. Let's send a chicken sandwich. Local to space. No, local news will cover it. It'll be it'll be great. <laughs> Probably true. Yeah, we I mean, did. We're doing it right. Oh, it worked. That's yeah. hilarious. Not bad. Not bad. Interesting. Funny. Interesting concept there. Well, enjoy your Monday if you've got a holiday. Relax and uh, don't forget tomorrow celebrate our nation's independence. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you guys will have a great day. Stick around. Good morning, America's coming up next.